looks good, but it got, it's got to be. It's got to be flipped over here. There's got to be a way to do it. <laughs> What's the secret? We're back. Like I said, this mount fits just like I showed you through here and then tightens down. So now you got it. And the problem was with other controllers, <laughs> the Phantom Pro controller, you've got another, you've got to get another adapter or another uh, setup that'll go on to this. But I believe that you could actually use this one here would be fine. What you do is once you get this undone, you put it over the top of this and then tighten it down and clamp it on here. So you wouldn't have to mess with any of that. You just it would be just be sitting like so flat and then you put it over the top and then tighten it down. So there you go. And you'd be able to use it just like this. Okay. Problem is with this one, I'll put it back on here. Now this piece here slides up in there, which means it connects it. Push her down. Oop. Make sure that you got your arm out here, and now she'll slide right in. And then you shut that, and now it locks in. Well, I've been messing around for the past hour here trying to figure out because <laughs> you're gonna fly it just like this well guess what your pictures upside down <laughs> and it doesn't automatically flip like you would with your phone it automatically flips so I went into settings I got messing around I was looking I was in here because this is downloading on me so I went in here, take me back. No, oh, actually, there's a button right here, right in the center, and that'll set you right into your little, all your little um, settings here. If you got H HDMI, you're gonna do that. Click that in. Okay, back. Um, D -tran uh, data transmission settings, all that. This is basically your setting. Well, I got thrown here like. Well, how in the world am I going to read it? Because it just doesn't automatically go. So as I was looking through the settings, I went through and screenshot. Back a little. That sets you back. Okay, there's your speaker and light sensitivity. Oh, we're going to touch your blue screen for a touch. Oh, okay, I just... Did a picture. Anyway, I come through here and it says, whoops, flip screen. Boom. Oop, upside down now. There you go. <laughs> oh man, that was killing me for an hour there. I look, looked on the, got on the website and I was looking and looking, reading this thing. It doesn't tell you. And this doesn't even give you, this doesn't even show this mounting mounting bracket but there you go I got your flip screen hit it again but now it's upside down again flip screen there we go so now you get to see it and doing all you want here here's your um, brightness on your screen here Home one brightness alien screenshot SRE2 home. I see. Okay, so right now I am downloading latest, the latest and greatest. See, the only, unfortunately, the only thing is now that it's upside down, all your, all your controls are upside down, all your um, ports are on your right hand side. So you gotta remember where you're at. Okay, so we're now back to that. Um, 
that's all. Okay, screen share families version. And I was downloading. I don't know if it's still doing it. Uh, update version, so and so package. Uh, sports CD draw, another two. And I'm not doing that one yet. I don't need that. That's for the new. That's for the new drone, the Mavic 2 Zoom, uh, Mavic 2 Pro. So I'm ignoring that. I'm not doing that one. And take shit back in there also. Back. Yeah. Other side. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this one for right now. And. The next video will be connecting it with the Mavic Pro. Alright. Welcome to my blog. And today, like I said, I want to demonstrate how well that Crystal Sky monitor works. And as you can see, what I have right here is everything I need to fly today. And so neatly compact in here. I have Mavic. I've already done my done my pre-flight on her. She's all all ready to go. Should do your your uh, post post flight on it after you're done from your last flight, and then you'll be able to do your pre-flight on your on your initial here. Got a cover off of there. Fly my gimbal block off of there. putting that on top of a tote. Okay, next thing I want to show you. As you saw that I was carrying my satchel with the actual uh, carry-on carry strap. stand here all day long and do this why not have it set up as a strap so I can just let it hang down if I'm not doing anything and then bring it up and then I have it perfectly ergonomically correct I can monitor and I can get my arms right to my side and I'm able to maneuver the aircraft right so what I did is I got another strap and I set it around the the bracket that bolts or screw bolts right to the controller. Now I get the magic magic board out. Change conditions here. Should have done a minute ago. All right. So now, as you can see, you have to undo this. Pull that, pull that handle back. Take the sky. You got your insert here. Insert here. Put them together. Slide it tight together.